In this first example, we are given the length, the width, and the height of this rectangular prism, and we are being asked to find its total area. The formula for total area of a rectangular prism can be expressed in this way. Area total is equal to 2 times the total of length times width plus length times height plus width times height. If I start plugging in these values, I get area total is equal to 2 times L times W gives length times width, which is 8 times 2, plus LH is length times height, which is 8 times 3, plus WH is width times height, which is 2 times 3. Now let's simplify. 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 3 is 24. 2 times 3 is 6. 16 plus 24 plus 6 is 46. And 2 times 46 is 92. So what ways are there of asking a question that involves this formula for the total area of a rectangular prism, that the questions can be made more tricky. Here is one where we are given the length, 12 meters, and we are not given the width or the height, but we are told that the ends of the box are squares with area of 25 meters squared. This forces us to use the area of a square formula, which is A equals side squared, we were given the area, so we have 25 equals side squared. The side length is going to be equal to the square root of 25, which is 5. And because the unit was meters and meters squared, the unit of the side length is meters. The sides of this square are 5 meters in length. Well, that tells us both the width and the height of our rectangular prism. Both of them are equal to 5. And now we can fill in our formula. Length times width will be 12 times 5. Length times height will also be 12 times 5. Plus width times height. Well, width times height is the area of the square at the end of our box. So it's going to be equal to 5 times 5. 12 times 5 is 60, 12 times 5 is 60, 5 times 5 is 25, 60 plus 60 plus 25 is 145. So the area total of our rectangular prism is 2 times 145, which is 290. Since the unit of measure was the meter all along, the area total is going to be equal to 290 meters squared.